Hey YouTube, this is Teddy again. Uh, we're just going to go through my collection of smaller snakes right now. This right here is my corn snake, my snow corn snake. It's pretty cool. It's uh, three and a half foot long. I uh, just ate yesterday, so it's not too pleased to be messing around with it. That's its cage there. Oops, get back. Two foot long viv. Hide. Water bowl. And heated by heat mat. Next we get down to Jumra's boa. Male Jumra's boa I should say. The smaller of the two. It's about over three foot long. Nice animal. That are yesterday too. Most of these were fed yesterday. And here we have the albino lab in her tub. Let's do a bit of folks in here. Uh, okay, we can't really focus into it. Oh, there we are. So we got the albino lab in her tub, water bowl, hide. Down here, then, albino granite berm in a 50 litre, really useful box. You've seen this one before, obviously. This one didn't actually eat. So, there's, you can see there's a few blood stains on her from the chick I offered to cut its beak off. Just in case it tore off her insides, but she didn't eat it anyway. So that's that. My albino Burmese. This is in both of my last videos. Another, again, 50 litre really useful box, water bowl, heated by a series of heat mats going all along the back of these boxes. Oh, okay. This heat mats going all over there. You can see my adapter with about five plugs in it. Another adapter up there again. And we have the Everglades rat snake. First of all. Everglades rat snake. Um, she's looking pretty chill. Haven't sold her yet. The guy, actually, he says his car broke down, so I'll probably see her when I go back up to Dublin and get a new Burmese python male. So I'll probably sell it then. And over here we have my female boa constrictor. She's looking pretty good, pretty chill. And her and her brother, which I'm going to go to next, their mother was a wild-caught, really dark melanistic boa. So I'm going to actually breed her to her brother and see if I can prove it out to see if they're, see if they're head for this, this weird melanistic thing. And they seem to both have something going on with them. And that's the male. So you know, they're both very dark. The male has. No red in his tail, neither does the female. The female is slightly lighter though. No red in the tail. Now you can see there's weird kind of rosette things in their saddles that are kind of broken up a bit. So those are all possible head markers that I'm kind of looking at. They don't look... They're kind of things that differentiate them from regular balls. Obviously he's in a tub too. Um, you know, most of these are all pretty tame. Bar the albino leg when she's feeding, she kind of strikes out from my hands a bit. And the Everglades rat snake is not too tame too. Uh, so that's kind of it. You know, I'm going much on my setups. This is a, a tub, heat mat, all these tubs as well. Tub, tub, and two more tubs. You got my tweezers there, so he's feeding them. You got a 600 watt dimmer stat there controlling all the heat mats. There's one, two, three, four, five, and there's about six, maybe seven heat mats. And so, you know, I've got another tub here, 18 litre really useful box, underbed storage box. My only real viv for my small snakes, two foot viv. New set for all of them, keep it simple. Uh, Exoterra hides for the corn, even though he kind of prefers going to the newspaper. 
Jumer's boy uses the high end on the newspaper. The the lad uses the height of lad actually. The boa already back under the height, but I don't really use heights for these big bigger snakes. You know, I say bigger, they're only about only about four or five foot long. So uh no really major plans for these guys, corn snake. And no nothing really planned for him, he's just kind of a pet. The jumerals, I intend to breed with the female when well if I get it up to size, if I get it near four foot, which I should do because it's just moved on to another size of rats and chomps them down. I'll buy no lab, I'll buy no granite, and I'll buy no berm. All to be part of my berm bre breeding group. Uh, rat snake, I want to sell two boas. I want to breed to breed them to each other when they grow up. And next video, I had intended it to be uh, an update of my big snakes, but I have something else planned. So you know, it's kind of a surprise. Me, me, and a couple of guys were all going to get together. Other other reptile keepers get together, do a couple of vids. So uh, that should be fun. The video after that, though, will be all my big snakes again, and then um, you know each individual snake. So should be pretty good. All right, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, send me any questions, comments if you. Uh, if you have any questions about any of me and my setups, any of the snakes, um, if you want to see any particular thing, uh, if you want to see any particular individual snake or snakes first, um, you know, uh, send me a message. Um, you know, send me a friend request. I almost always accept the friend request in here, and I'll usually check out your channel and probably subscribe to you. I won't really. The only reason I wouldn't subscribe is if you're an idiot who like you know, power feeds for fun or whatever you know. It makes a reptiles fight, which is you know I've come across one or two of those on YouTube. They're not they're not cool, you know. What's the point? Um, I want to shout out to Riders Reps this week. Uh, you know, he's a pretty cool, pretty cool dude. Uh, nice setups, very nice setups. You know, a lot of mine they're kind of bare bone setups, I suppose, but uh, he puts a lot of effort into his ones. Nice big cages, nice nice planted viz. I saw his basilisk viv there. It's a pretty nice one. Um, yeah, so shout out to him. And oh yeah, uh, shout out to the guys who gave me all these animals. Uh, cool guy called Steve who sold me these two boas and is actually buying the rat snake off me. Uh, ben, Reptile Haven, selling me these, these two berms, and the corn snake. And shout out to Peter Maxwell for selling me the Jumas boa. And shout out to Bob Clark for breeding this albino Burmese python. Um yeah, um just you know like I said, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm Teddy. See you next week.